Hey everybody, Seth Pell here, your personal coffee roaster. And it looks like rain in Old Bisbee. Come on inside before we get wet. It's time to uh, cup some coffees, right? Let's go. Today I'm roasting a Peaberry from Kimmel Estates. This is New Guinea coffee. It's big, it's huge, it's earthy, it's creamy because it's milled and it's cute. And look at those little guys, they are so much fun. Let's do this. <laughs> earthy but it's it's kind of caramely chocolatey lots of body 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 I feel it look at the size of that look it's it's overflowing the portafilter you can't contain this coffee it's incredible it's all right the aroma is reserved I'm a little surprised there mmm Big! It's huge! Round and earthy and velvety all at the same time. It's got a lot going on. Wow! What's that flavor? Dried Fig Newton. Mm. It's got molasses and plum and dark, sweet, overripe stone fruit to it. Until the earth hits you, it's got this big hit of solid earthiness. These are the coffees that, that just come crawling out of the coffee pot in the morning and say, you've got to wake up now. Mm. The finish is herbal spiciness to it. It's kind of a nutmeggy allspice. Man, it's lingering. It's, it's on my palate. It's not overpowering, but it's like it hasn't left the building like Elvis, let me tell you that. It's got a spiciness that kind of lingers with you. Boy, this is an unusually good coffee. I'll tell you, I'm very pleased. You got I'll see you guys next week. We're going to cup coffee again really soon. I love y'all, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Oh man, this is not for the timid, but it is for the refined. <laughs>